Elio guys and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at Legend of, is it Pandonia here? Uh, so as always I came across this just on the Google Play Store and figured why not go and sh share with you guys my first impression of this game. So uh, let's give it a go. Alright so we got some gameplay action right here right off the start. I'm okay with that. Uh, looks like it's pretty traditional, nothing like game changing, but there is this little joystick over here. What does that do? Uh, that moves them while they're running? It's weird. But we have mage baby girl, looks like, is that a dude? Uh, yeah, that's a dude. And then another baby girl here. It would be a good idea to eliminate the distance attack enemies first. Alright, so we can make them focus. And these are our skills, which is not allowing me to do yet. And since I said that, now they've finally done it. Oh, boys. It's time. Wow, that is an ex... I know she's supposed to be a bug, man, but that is an extremely horrifying tale. She just switched out? Okay, uh, common here. You have the RGB and then you have the light and dark. You know, pretty normal. But she just came out of nowhere. Mage girl in the back. Oh wow. That actually shred it, dude. I can't get over her in the back, man. Like I'm not hating, but her freaking stance is just super duper awkward. <laughs> I don't think uh Scion, I believe, is sleep. I think he is dead because his eyes are open. Just a big FYI here, Anna. Alright, so there's chapter 1, we have chapter 9, it's not allowing me to move. Chapter 10, I'm assuming that may be chapter 11, but it's probably chapter 8. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that there's 10 so far. And search for the soul stone, chapter 1. They're really just like, I want you to play this game, bro. Okay, so I think I'm tracking here a little bit. So we can have a total of 6 party members, it seems. And then we can swap them out, which is interesting because... I figured it would be your traditional, you know, you have a couple of OP units and then you have whoever in your party, but yeah, it seems like there's also a refill switch gauge uh, for your character, so you can't like nearly willy really switch back and forth, I guess, all the time, which I'm assuming, you know, to get maximum DPS, you would be switching, popping off all your skills, switching back out or something until it refills again, but maybe I'm wrong. So she's ready, popping that. Oh no, there's a cooldown on that. Actually, nope, I lied. Maybe it's for her skills total or something. I'm not sure. Alright, so we finally have some summon action here? Okay. Oh, there's weapon. Oh, there's heroes, weapons, armor, and rune. Oh no. Oh no, man. Uh, free summon once a day. Pretty classic here. There's SSR Serena summon chance up. Uh, let's see what we get, even though it's obviously going to be scripted. That's how that stuff works here. Who we got? What's in the box? Oh, look. We got Mr. Burns himself. No surprise there. Select chance up hero. So there's Lillian, Warren, Boros, Bix. And there's a whole bunch of other ones like Rega. We do get to see some of their skills though. There's Firestorm, Melon Crack. All right, I'm not sure what this means. I've went through all of these and it's kind of hard to judge when you literally just did a tutorial. So I'm gonna go with Fire Bix, I guess. I mean, it doesn't guarantee that I'm gonna get him, but I guess I should be guaranteed to get him at some point in time here, but we're gonna move on. Weapons, there's armor. Okay, these are based off friendship points, it seems. It seems, I say. So I'm okay with that. I mean, I can also... You know, you could also use currency on this, but I'm, I'm not sure about that, Chief. There's a whole bunch of different gotcha factors going on over here. And this is the main hub for the uh, the game right here. So we have our stamina, we have our characters. There's also uh, obviously my portrait here. And let's see if there's anything else going off the heroes before we uh, 
go ahead and shut her down. Alright, so those burns, we have the information on him. He can also evolve, which is pretty standard here. Just increasing his stars and obviously increasing up his stats here. And then heroes gain a new skill after evolution. When a 6-star hero is evolved, all the stats are significantly increased. So obviously we, we would need some type of material or maybe like copies of him to kind of increase his rank. Pretty standard. Their, their skills... There's skills here and it looks like they do have skill books or something along that level of helping to increase your damage for skills, which is totally understandable. You need the same hero uh, or the skill level up hero to level up this skill. Pretty standard here once again. Uh, also equipment, which we have the six slots over here. And then runes, like they may end up going for, what is that, 12, like 13 slots total? If I can math correctly? Okay. Interesting. But alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, this was me checking out Legends of Pandonia. Feel free to do so yourself if you enjoy the game. And I'll see you guys in the next one.